and this time was empty. A town so quiet just didn't seem natural to Hobie. He was on his way to San Saba. Thought it'd be a good idea to stop by and say hello to Judge Tolliver. Real stickler for the letter of the law, though not a bad sort. Then there was old Doc Rivers, kindly old gent. Doc sure knew his way around a bullet hole. Fixed up Hobie's shoulder once, good as new. Hey, you might call it that, Ranger. It's a trial. From the sound of it, Judge Tolliver's having himself a time. Oh, he's doing it up just dandy. <laughs> of course, the only reason we're having this trial is to uh, make the hanging legal. <laughs> I figured this rope will be pulling weight by sundown. the evidence against the defendant. It's your bounden duty to reach a verdict. Either he's guilty of murdering Fred Connors or he ain't. We know he's guilty, Judge. Ain't that right, boys? We don't know nothing until the jury tells us so. Now, you all heard about Sam's long-standing feud with the Connors brothers. And this row that dropped off of Sam's spur and was found next to Fred's carcass. This here's evidence. This ought to add up to something, seems to me. Now, I want the jury to scat into the back room and you to stay there until you agree on a verdict. And the sooner you do it, the sooner we'll be through. I hereby order this court in recess and drinks on the house. What about us, Judge? You'll get yours just as soon as you do what you're supposed to. Now, get along with you. Get along. <laughs> What brings you to Lampas? He's passing through. Just in time for the show. It does look more like a medicine show than a trial, doesn't it? Wait till the hanging if you want to see a real medicine show. Everybody seems pretty sure he's going to hang. Look around. What about the proof? Proof? What proof? Listen to me. You all wanted a regular trial. All right. You got a trial. The fun's over, but the job ain't. I'm here to tell you if Sam Devlin walks out of here a free man, he'll not live to see another day. He didn't do it, Brad. I'm sorry. He didn't kill your brother. I'm sorry. You come back to the office, Bob. <laughs> All right, boys, don't let this spoil the fun. You heard what the judge says. Drink from the house. Yeah. Looks like Sam lives either way, doesn't it, Sheriff? Well, what did you hit down, Hobie? If he dies if he's guilty and dies if he's set free, that doesn't sound like a fair shake for any man. Huh? Maybe. You could take Lance Connor's gun away till this thing is over with. I can't take away a man's gun just for shooting off his mouth, Hobie. Man, sounds like he means to do what he says. Look, you know what my job is, to keep the peace, no more, no less. I can't start kicking up the traces like the old days. Now, we got regular law and order here now. Unless the peace is broken, there's nothing I can do. You mean, you won't take away Lance's gun until he uses it on Sam, is that a shot? It won't come to that. Sam's as good as hung right now. not 
true. It's not true, I tell you, not a bit. You admit you've been feuding with the Connors. Well, sure I have, but that don't prove I killed one of them. I told you that'd get you into trouble, Sam. I told you. What was I supposed to do? Let the Connors take my strays day in and day out till we got no cattle left of our own? Fred and Lance Connors own a spread right next to mine. Both our herds water out of the same stream, because the stream flows from my spread over to theirs. Well, every now and then some cows stray over from one spread to the other. You can see how that could happen. And that's all there is to your quarrel with Fred and Lance. Well, not Fred. I never had anything to do with Fred Connors. He spent all of his time in town. Left the running of the ranch to his brother Lance. He's the one I've been feuding with. But it was Fred who got killed. Well, that's just the point. Does it figure that I'd hold a grudge against him and then wait three whole months till he got back from the East before I'd kill him? Fred went East? That's right. Uh, what for? Down to find no. How about that, Sheriff? You know anything about Fred's trip East? No more than anyone else. But then nothing Fred Connors did surprised folks, not since he lost his wife about a year ago. What kind of haywire? Mm -hmm. Hobie, Sam's not the killing kind. You know that. Whatever he's had against the Connors, he'd go to the law for help. That, that's always been his way. He's innocent, Hobie. As sure as I'm standing here, Sam's innocent. Comes that ranger now. Seems like he aims to spoil our fun, don't it? Yes. There's a whole street to walk around in. I suppose you all move along and let the ranger pass. Why? I don't want to have to say the same thing twice. I got no quarrel with you, Lance. What are you done inside talking to a murdering snake? Just what you said, talking. Well, what he's got to say shouldn't interest a decent man, much less a ranger. Now, Lance, I'm gonna walk, and sometimes I don't see too good, and it sure gets me a row when I walk into something that's not supposed to be there. You killed my brother. No man's gonna keep me from getting my deal. You hear me, Ranger? Come on in, Hobie. Saw that play you made with our friend Lance Connors. You got a minute, Doc? Have a seat. See, it's been uh, almost a year now, isn't it? Yeah, just about. Shoulder body much? Yeah, oh, must have good doctor. <laughs> Well, I got a bullet wound that needed cleaning. and handled plenty of them before and since. Tell me, what brings you here now? Just a visit. I was on my way to San Saba. Thought I'd look you up. And the sheriff. Glad you did. Sheriff's got his hands full, looks like. I don't envy him his job. He hates what he has to do. You saw the temper of the town. Hmm. Everybody saw all fired positive. There was no trial Sam had. I know. It's a disease peculiar to the very young, to be so positive and to brook no opposition. That's what ails this town, Hobie. It's so very young, too young, and scrapping to really call itself a town. It's just a frontier settlement. It plays with law and order like a child playing with a toy. There's a way of making me feel very old. You don't think Sam's guilty, do you? No, I don't. Why? Because I know the man, know the way he thinks and feels. Just as I know everyone else in these parts that's ever needed a painkiller or a tooth extracted or a wailing infant to be delivered. It all comes under the heading of intuition. What about Lance? I only speculate about a man's innocence, not his guilt. There's only something on Sam's side, something you could put your hand on. That concrete evidence? Wouldn't mean a thing. That crowd out there didn't need any such evidence to convince themselves of Sam's guilt, did they? Well, they got Sam's row to prove he's around where Fred got shot. That row probably fell off Sam's spur when he had that fight with Lance a week ago. Fight? 
Sam never said anything about a fight with Lance. Well, probably never occurred to him. He came in here with a gash on his leg, slipped against a rock siding. Well, how come you didn't talk up, Doc? Huh? How come you didn't say something about this at the trial? Wouldn't have done any good. Well, it might have. All they really got against Sam is that row, and the fight explains it. It might have made a difference. No, never. Not in that court. That so-called trial, and you know it, Hobie. But you still should have said something. Perhaps you're right. I don't know. I guess I just feel it's hopeless. Disappointed you, haven't I, Hobie? Come on in. Jury's reached a verdict. Come on. Sheriff, can I see you a minute? I can't now the trial. For I know, but this is important. All right. What's eating you? That row I found by Fred's body, the one belonging to Sam. What about Sam dropped that in a fight he had with Lance no more than a week ago? So? So? That's how it come to be found there. It had nothing to do with Fred's murder. Do you expect anyone to believe that? Well, sure. Why not? Doc Rivers will swear to it. Everybody in this town believes in Doc Rivers. Not today, they won't. I gotta get to prison. The sheriff. What are you hiding? Hobie, you just don't know when to let go, do you? You think all you've got to do is let the folks hear the truth and that'll be the end of it? Well, what's a trial for? I don't know. But I do know this town. And I know the people in it. They won't listen. You can yell your head off and nobody will listen. And they're just after one thing. To get Sam tied. Don't much matter whether he's guilty or innocent. It's whatever one believes that counts. They believed it before the trial began, and just as sure as shooting, they're going to keep right on believing it after it's over. You don't think so? All right. Walk in there. Speak right up. See what it'll get you. Will the defendant stand? Sam Devlin? Are you prepared to accept the verdict that you're about to hear? Yes. What say you? Guilty or not guilty? He's guilty, Judge. <laughs> Order! Order or I'll clear the court. Sam Devlin, you've been duly tried and found guilty of the murder of Fred Connors. If you got anything to get off your chest, now's your chance. <laughs> done must have been awful bad. Worse than what you accused me of, those. God wouldn't have let this happen. Is that all that you got to say? Well, as you know, the penalty for murder is hanging. Oh, no! No, no, not Sam! Order here, order! 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 order. <laughs> With the authority vested in me by the sovereign state of Texas, I hereby sentence the defendant, Sam Devlin, to be hung by the neck until he's dead. Execution to take place three miles outside the town limits of Lamb Passes in exactly one hour from now. Drinks for the jury. Case is closed. Yeah! Come along, Sam. You must be getting old. No, Hobie, I'm not old. The old days are pretty much over. Today we got law on land passes. The trial was over. Sam Devlin was soon to hang for murder. Almost everyone in land passes cheered the verdict, but not Doc Rivers. To him, the prospect of death, even for a convicted murderer, was little cause for cheer. Ah, can you hear me pounding on that door? She fainted. Oh, we'll pull her in. Easy, easy now. Just a couple of minutes. When you fainted in the sheriff's office, I carried you straight over here. Sam? Well, he's still in jail. I must be. Now, Ruth, wait a minute. 
Can't you tell us anything? Something that you and Sam might have forgotten to mention at the trial. I'd like to help if I can. Get Sam out of that jail. What's the help he needs? Oh, I can't do that. No, of course not. Like the sheriff says, it's against the law. What law? That trial is not the law. Is that what the guy said? A man should live or die. Oh, is it? If Sam had been tried someplace outside of town, I might be able to do something, at least hold things up for an appeal. But I can't mix in this. This is all in the hands of the people who live in this town. I'm sorry, Ruth. <laughs> what are they going to do? What are they going to do? <laughs> I told the sheriff about Sam's fight with Lance. Huh? Didn't even phase him. There's two men in the town who disappointed you. Well, somebody around here's got to do something. Perhaps Ruth has the right idea. Break into that jail and free Sam at gunpoint. She wouldn't get anyone to help you. That's breaking a law, and this town is out for law and order. You've noticed that. I wonder which is worse. Break a law, save a man from hanging who is probably innocent. Let the law take its course. Sit back and watch a man murdered legally. Who did Fred hang around with after he got back from his trip east? Nobody in particular. After his wife died, he kept pretty much to himself. Probably shunned me as much as anyone. Why you? I was tending his wife when she died. He blame you? But I understood. He kept chattering about that paper of his, right in the middle of the street, about how the next edition was going to shock the town. Well, did it? No. He never lived to print it. <laughs> what Christmas? Doc, will you see she stays put? Till it's time, anyway. Where are you going? I don't know. I just need some space to move around there. Coming to the hanging, Hobie? Coming along, Hobie? It's getting about due. My deputy's already taken Sam. Yeah, I know. Well, you don't have to come, of course. I wish I didn't. Sheriff, I want to get into this Gazette office. For what for? Come on, give me a hand. Now, wait a minute. You just get Lance riled up. Oh, well, I'll take the chance. I can't let you do that, not without a reason. There's a law It's a little late in the day to throw a book of rules at me, Tom. Now, don't stop me unless you're willing to go all the way. I got killed. Mm, could be an old addition to the paper. No, there's no ink on it. Sheriff, who nailed up the front door? Was that your idea? No, Lance Connors did it first thing. Said he didn't want nobody snooping around his brother's private paper. Why? Give me a piece of paper, will you? Lance, 
Colby here said that my brother's dead hardly a week. And you scavengers come traipsing through here like you own this place. What do you expect to find here? We didn't rightly know, Lance, and that's a fact. But we found this. The last issue of the Gazette. One Fred never lived to print. Fred ever talked to you about this? Where'd you find this? It was all set up, ready for the ink. Well, you better get on down to that hanging fast. Take that Gazette with you. Come along, Lance. Make sure you show it all around. Guy, did you know I can't read? It says that Doc Rivers is a fugitive from justice back in Massachusetts. Is it true, Doc? Happened so many years ago. I have lived with it ever since. A patient of mine died due to my own negligence. The medical board in Massachusetts revoked my license to practice. So I had to leave my home state, start afresh, new name, new town. I'm past this. We were just starting up then, a wild, unruly little settlement on the edge of civilization. Probably the only town in Texas that had among its founding citizens a full-fledged doctor. Is that where Fred went back east? Dig up your past? I don't know. Somehow he stumbled on the truth and rushed back to print it. He knew what a sensation that story would make in these parts. See, Hobie, I've been a good doctor. Everybody knows me for miles around. I'm liked, trusted, respected. Everything that I wanted to be back east, I've earned every bit of it. A story like this would be the end of me, for my career. Fred hated me for what he believed I did to his wife. It's impossible to reason with the man. So you killed him to keep him from putting out his next edition? Yes, Hobie. I killed him. And now the long arm of the law has come to Lampasas. And I suppose the things I've done in the past 20 odd years, the kind of life I've lived, will mean nothing. A life for a life is all the law allows. My life of service in return for the life of a half crazed, embittered, misguided little man. This doesn't seem fair. What about Sam Devlin? You're willing to watch an innocent man hang. Not willing, Hobie. Helpless. I, I couldn't speak out. I, I just couldn't. Where are you going? no difference, just so we have the hanging before sundown. The right man this time. It is that all you've got in your head is hanging? Is that all this town thinks about is hanging? We sure we got the right man this time. You are, huh? Just like before. The law was a new thing then, and Hobie Gilman was all for it. But sometimes the law came pretty high. That day in Lampasas, the law cost him a friend. Hobie would have sworn, along with all the others, that old Doc Rivers couldn't hurt a fly.